This is going to be a quick overview of a camera that an uncle of mine had. Um, he is unfortunately no longer on this earth with us. Um, one of my relatives took the camera. They did not know how to use it. They wanted me to teach them how to use it, so I've been playing it f with it for the past couple of days. And I like it a lot, and I figured I'd show it to you. Um, this is my second time recording this video. The first time I went over, I was going to go over the limit, and I didn't even finish everything. I'm going to try and keep this quick. Uh, this is the Nikon Coolpix 8800. Uh, this is a 10x optical zoom, mega zoom point and shoot. Um, you can see the lens is positively gigantic on this. Um, there is no really nothing much here on the right hand side. Um, up here at the front, there is a. Let's see, can, can you see that? It may be hard to see. There is a, a microphone up here somewhere, <laughs> but I don't think you can see it in the camera, it's kind of in the shadows. If we move to the left, you have your auto and manual focus and your vibration reduction, which is image stabilization, and my relative who's going to be using this um, has had a camera in the past that has had none of these features. Um, that I'm about to go over with you, so they're going to really enjoy this camera a lot. On the back, we have a viewfinder with manual focus. Um, we also have a pop-out LCD, and this is really cool because you flip this so you can flip this around and do self-portraits. But if you were to use it. As per usual, you would take it out like this, flip it around 180 degrees, and pop it in like that. Let's put this back in its regular resting position. I am not going to be turning this on because the very first thing it's going to do is bring up a picture, which is a picture of one of my relatives who was visiting, and I don't want their face up on YouTube for obvious privacy reasons. Um, we have, if I can get the strap out of the way here, excuse me, um, on the back a full set of controls including the quick button which allows you to have a quick glimpse of what you've taken. Um, you have your jog dial, your excuse me, your navigational pad which is really nice. The zoom is right here and like I said, I really don't want to go over all the buttons, but I'm going to just put this here up close to the camera. You can pause this and take a look at the controls for yourself. Like I said, this is a little bit old, so if anybody is actually interested in getting one of these, the closest thing you would be able to do, I think, would be able to go, like, go to eBay or if they have a used camera shop. This is a 2005, so it, like I said, it is a little bit old. Um, here along the back, we have our power button which when I first started using this I thought it was the zoom because I'm on my relative's point and shoot that's what um, this control around the shutter button is used for is the, is the zoom as opposed to the power so it took me a little while to get used to that uh, flash control I don't know what the heck that is um, there's a function button up here I've not tried that yet mode dial um, I'll just um, go really quick around this you have your fully automatic playback, oh, playback, white balance, um, ISO setting, uh, picture, how you want your picture to look, setup, um, video recording, scene modes, full manual, aperture, I don't know what the S is, uh, semi-automatic, and we're back to full automatic. Now the semi-automatic, what I mean by that is you can have control control some settings but not all of them. Uh, informational display over here with a backlight button it may be hard to see but it's right there. There we go. Um, and this allows you to easily put a backlight on the display. This is your primary battery information display by the way. Um, which I think is nice. It gives you full access to the battery at all times. Down here is an accessory shoe for your for if you wanted to add an external flash gun you could do that. Um, and 
here is where your flash is. Now this is an automatic pop-up flash and you should not be pulling, pulling it up by your, by um, manually. Uh, you want to wait for the camera to realize there's not enough light to take an adequate picture. It will bring up the flash by itself. You have to put it back down, but it's a spring release that's automatic. Um, one of the things to note is um, if, you're, if you have your hand over it, which for me sometimes is easy to do, um, it will give you a warning that your hand is over it and you should remove it, that it's trying to put up the flash, which is nice. Over here on the right hand side towards the back, you have your media slot. This is, um, this camera takes compact flash media, which uh, a lot of the D, I think some of the DSLRs do, but not many left. In fact, there's hardly any camera left that, ooh, excuse me, <laughs> um, that um, take the compact flash. You just pull out the card like so. Sorry, I'm doing this in a bit of a rush. I'm, I'm making a lot better time than I was in the first take, though, so I can slow down a little bit. Um, so that's what the that's what that media door is for. That is your compact flash. Um, I don't know what the maximum size on this is because I don't know what the maximum size was in 2005, and if there is a limit, I do not know what that is. Finally, we have the bottom, and the bottom really doesn't house much, just your battery door, which houses a standard lithium-ion rechargeable battery. That battery's good for, oh gosh, I'd say somewhere between 150 and 200 shots per charge. If you use the flash, it's going to be significantly less. You have your tripod mount on the bottom, um, but... Uh, yeah, that is a little. That is pretty much it. Now, I am looking into a mega zoom like this. I don't want all the features. Essentially, the most important to me are the zoom range, full manual control, and um, I do like the pop-up flash. So far, the front runner is the uh, Canon PowerShot SX1100. Now, I was looking into something a little bit closer to this, but I re I decided to back off a little bit because. Um, Nowadays, I don't know what this was when it was first released, but nowadays these run about $400 minimum, and I'd really not, I decided, you know, since this is going on my birth, not this one, but something might be going on my birthday list, I don't know, um, I'm, 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 consi I'm looking into it, but, um, I haven't fully made up my mind, but I think I will go ahead and put something on my list, um, something similar to this but is a little bit cheaper and actually is preferably a pocket uh, mega zoom um, so the 1100 or actually not, did I say the 1100 I'm sorry um, excuse me the SX110 the SX110 IS is a brand new mega zoom it's about 250 has a lot of the same features as this uh, but it's in a much smaller uh, size this is 8 megapixels um, the one that I'm looking at um, is, or one of the ones I'm looking at, the Canon, the PowerShot, the 110, is um, is 9 megapixels. So overall, this is a very nice camera. I think my relative will enjoy using this a lot. Um, personally, like I said, I'd like to have something a little bit uh, similar to this, a little bit cheaper, and more pocketable. Um, but definitely in the mega zoom range because I love the zoom on this. It is fantastic. It's just, I love it. Um, so that's pretty much it. I apologize if this seemed a little bit crude, but again, like I said, this was my second time doing this. I wanted to make sure that I got everything in um, without running over and still had time left for commentary. And this time I, I did that even though I, that's why I rushed a little bit to make sure that I was able to do that. Um, thank you for watching. Comments and suggestions are welcome. I look for I, I welcome any and all input that somebody might have. Um, thank you for watching. All comments not related to the subject matter, particularly negative ones, uh, will be deleted. Um, comments related to the subject matter are welcome. I uh, look forward to your suggestions and input. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.